Ethiopia hosted a ministerial meeting with troop contributing countries, TCCs, to the African Union Transition Mission in Somalia, Atmos, on October 16, 2024, despite Somalia's explicit opposition to its involvement in the new African Union Support and Stabilization Mission in Somalia, Awesome. The meeting took place during the African Defense Leaders Conference in Addis Ababa and was spearheaded by Ethiopia's Defense Minister Aisha Muhammad. It brought together defense ministers from Burundi, Djibouti, Kenya, and Uganda to discuss the transition from Atmos to Awesome. Somalia has previously announced that it would exclude Ethiopia from future peacekeeping missions in the country, largely due to Ethiopia's controversial deal with Somaliland. This Memorandum of Understanding, MAO, grants Ethiopia access to the strategic Red Sea port of Berbera, heightening tensions across the Horn of Africa. Somalia considers the deal a breach of its territorial sovereignty, as Somaliland remains unrecognized internationally as an independent state. President Hassan Sheikh Mohammed condemned the deal, calling it an unacceptable encroachment. Adding to the tensions, Egypt has stepped into Somalia's security landscape, deepening its alliance with Mogadishu. The Somali government recently welcomed the deployment of Egyptian military advisors and troops under a bilateral defense agreement signed in August. Egyptian advisors are already assisting Somali units, particularly along critical supply routes used by Ethiopian forces in Somalia. The growing military cooperation between Somalia and Egypt has only exacerbated the strained relations with Ethiopia, whose leadership sees Egypt's involvement as a direct challenge to its influence in the region. Former Somali Federal Minister Abdi Ain't summarized the growing sentiment against Ethiopia's dual role in Somalia, stating, For Ethiopia to pretend that it's just another TCC in Somalia contributing to peacekeeping is oxymoronic. On the one hand, Ethiopia is actively dismembering Somalia. On the other hand, Addis is responsible for the conditions that created Al-Shabaab due to its brutal invasion of 2007 to 2009. Ethiopia's decision to convene this meeting despite Somalia's objections appears to be a strategic move aimed at securing its role in the evolving peacekeeping architecture of Somalia. Despite Ethiopia's opposition, Egypt, Somalia, and Eritrea have formed a strategic alliance, solidified at the recent trilateral summit in Asmara. The three nations aim to counter Ethiopia's ambitions in the Red Sea and the broader region. The alliance focuses on protecting their mutual interests in the Bab El Mandeb Strait, a vital maritime corridor connecting the Red Sea to the Gulf of Aden, through which a significant portion of global trade passes. In recent weeks, tensions between Ethiopia and Somalia have led to the Ethiopian military's seizure of key airports in Somalia's ghetto region, further straining relations. President Hassan Sheikh Mohammed has accused Ethiopia of arming clan militias in Somalia to undermine the federal government's authority. Ethiopian troops stationed in Somalia under Atmos have also been accused of preventing the deployment of Egyptian forces to strategic locations. The evolving geopolitical landscape in the Horn of Africa has shifted the focus of Somalia's security from Al-Shabaab to the broader struggle for regional dominance. Experts warn that these diplomatic tensions could embolden Al-Shabaab, which has already begun to exploit the situation. Al-Shabaab has positioned itself as a nationalist force against Ethiopian occupation in Somalia, further complicating efforts to stabilize the country. Ethiopia views Egypt's growing involvement in Somalia as a direct threat, not only because of their long-standing dispute over the Grand Ethiopian Renaissance Dam, GERD, but also because Egypt's support for Somalia could shift the balance of power in the Horn of Africa. Egypt's military support for Somalia includes the dispatch of troops and advisors to bolster Somalia's capacity to secure its borders and combat al-Shabaab. While Ethiopia's geopolitical maneuvers dominate the narrative, the transition from Atmos to Awesome is fraught with financial and operational uncertainties. The African Union's peacekeeping efforts in Somalia have long been underfunded, and the ministers at the Addis Ababa meeting stressed the importance of securing sustainable financing for Awesome with the mission needing at least $100 million more in funding to sustain operations. The European Union, a major financial backer of Atmos, has expressed concerns about the future of Awesome, particularly in light of the geopolitical tensions between Somalia and Ethiopia. There is growing apprehension that Ethiopia's involvement in the new mission, despite Somalia's clear opposition, could hinder Awesome's effectiveness and distract from its primary objective stabilizing Somalia and eliminating al-Shabaab as a major threat.